New tonight, Fox 23 joined Tulsa firefighters who returned to the scene of what some describe as an unforgettable rescue. I'm Clay Loney. And I'm Shay Rozzi. Last night, Fox 23 introduced you to people who survived that tornado inside the TGI Fridays in Midtown Tulsa. Our Fox 23 severe weather team coverage continues tonight, including damage at another restaurant. Let's begin with Fox 23's Sarah Whaley with firefighters back at the TGI Fridays for the first time since they rescued a dozen people Sunday morning, Sarah. Clay, it was a true act of heroism. These firefighters waded through tables, chairs, glass, wood, you name it, to get the people who were trapped inside. When they walked into Station 25 Saturday morning, these firefighters didn't know they'd leave 24 hours later. There was a lot more debris. Having made one of the most memorable rescues of their careers. So basically, are you telling me like all the stuff that's pushed back over there? Yeah, it was all it was all here, out here on the sidewalk and in this area piled up. Uh, yeah, I mean there was hardly any way through here. Michael Regenhardt was one of the first inside. We just walked back through into the kitchen area and met the TGI Friday's manager who had miraculously gotten everyone in the restaurant to the freezer following that moment of impact caught on this cell phone. Regenhard says they started triaging the victims the second they got to them. We uh, prioritized them from you know, serious condition to minor injuries. Celia Daniel, who Fox 23 interviewed on Monday, was the most serious. Regenhard says they got her out first. Tuesday was the first day that these firefighters were able to come back to the TGI Fridays. They say seeing all this damage in the daylight, they're certainly surprised that nobody in here was killed. It's assessing the damage is just like, wow, this is a pretty big deal. Travis Howard says this is the first time he's ever had to care for that many victims at once. It's something he nor the others will soon forget. I'm just glad it was at 1.30 in the morning, you know, on a Saturday, not Sunday morning instead of during the middle of the day. Now, Station 25 sits on 42nd Street between Sheridan and Memorial. So I was talking to those firefighters. They narrowly missed being in this damage path themselves. Reporting live here in Midtown. Covering news that matters, Sarah Whaley, Fox 23 News.